full-text free two-way rush, two-way redemption when Mu Yao opened her eyes, not only did she dress up as the female supporting character in the novel, by Yue Guang, but her boyfriend also broke up and went to have three wives and four concubines. It's okay, Mu Yao is lying flat. Swinging the sword to break the love, leaving gracefully. But how did the plot gradually become outrageous, what? Did the female lead sacrifice herself? My brother, who died a year ago, came back pretending to be a corpse. The green tea junior brother who is full of slutty women around him is actually a big shot. Little junior brother's innocent attitude. Senior sister is so kind, and they always misunderstand you. If it were me, I would definitely not be willing to do so. The Mu Yao, who had originally intended to lie flat, fell into contemplation everyone gritted their teeth. Can't you tell he's a scheming man? Mu Yao. It seems like he's trying to seduce me, I'm sorry. In order to complete the plot mission, Mu Yao pretended to die and returned. The young junior brother transformed into the villain in the book. Let me forget you. Dong Fang Mu Yao, please leave me again and give it a try. Black belly, gloomy green tea, junior brother X quiet white moonlight, depressed senior sister keywords of the novel. Zongman white moonlight, she no longer works without a pop dot up window, Zongman white moonlight, she no longer works. Download the complete text, Zongman white moonlight, she no longer works with the latest chapters. Chapter 1. Red Clothed Youth. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Red Clothed Youth Zhang Miao traveled through time and even dressed up as the white moonlight female supporting character in the fantasy novel, The Immortal Gate, he had read. Dong Fang Mu Yao, and even bound it to an unknown system. This is not the most damn thing, the most damn thing is that she traveled with her boyfriend to Luonan Island. Seeing that they had traveled to ancient times, Luonan Island immediately happily broke up with her and said they were going to have three wives and four concubines. Luonanzu dressed up as the eldest senior brother of the immortal sect, and he was in danger with his little junior sister. Without saying a word, he immediately abandoned himself and went to find his charming little junior sister. Before leaving, she still remembered the deafening words from Luonan Island. I can't stand you for a long time. Being with you is just because your family has money. You recommended this novel to me, and although I haven't finished reading it yet, I know who the male and female leads are. With them, I can definitely reach the peak of life and have beautiful women. Zhang Miao. Dot. Big brother, fortunately you haven't watched the ending. The ending is for the male and female lead, B. You'll only be cannon fodder when you're with them. The original plot of the novel is that the world is divided into four realms of demons, humans, and ghosts. Years after the master of the male protagonist Rong Mo, Qin Yao, died in battle, a little girl suddenly goes up the mountain to learn from her master. This little girl is the female protagonist of this book, Lin Qingli. During the cultivation process, Lin Qingli's relationship with the male lead Rong Mo heated up, but they were constantly blocked by the Eastern Mu Yao. The Eastern Mu Yao had been secretly bullying Lin Qingli, this little white flower, because they liked Rong Emo. Just as the male protagonist was about to see through the true face of Dong Fang Mu Yao, she lost her divine form in one experience and became the white moonlight cinnabar mole in Rong Mo's heart. Rong Emo refused to accept Lin Qingli's advances and even disliked her. Unexpectedly, Rong Emo doesn't like Lin Qingli, some people like the female lead. The demon lord was always obedient to her, and the ghost king became her brother. Even the big boss of the demon clan in this book was willing to give up their territory in the war for her, which can be said that Marisu had reached the extreme. When Rong Emo found Lin Qingli, the two of them had a misunderstanding and were ready to be together, but to their surprise, Dong Fang Mu Yao had returned and even inflicted harm on them on both sides. After experiencing various twists and turns, the male and female protagonists couldn't resist the invasion of the villains. The male protagonist ultimately died in battle to protect the world, while the female protagonist stayed in front of his tomb, unable to see each other for generations under the Nine Netherworld. 
That's right, Zhang Miao has now traveled through time and become the villain by Yue Guang who has been criticized by thousands of people. Announce the truth. Are you sure you're going down this road? Dong Fang Mu Yao was standing on the hillside at this moment, finally rescuing himself. He was standing on the hillside, hesitating to look at the two paths in front of him. Dot. Dong Fang Mu Yao. I'm afraid the butterfly effect will affect the plot direction. You are the most Buddhist host I have ever seen Dong Fang Mu Yao retorted, you are also the worst system I have ever seen. The system is angry, please respect our profession. You are just a supporting role. Except for big issues and differences, other trivial matters will not affect your outcome at all. Anyway, she can't go back. The fate of Dong Fang Mu Yao has long been predetermined, and she will only die young like the characters in the book. The current plot direction is that the village where the female protagonist Lin Qingli is located in Hejiang has been attacked by the demon clan, and the Dong Fang Mu Yao has come to rescue her on behalf of her family. According to the original text, she should be able to reach Hejiang village before dark, but just as the sun was setting, she did not leave the valley. Instead, a bouquet of shrubs appeared in front of her. A rustling sound came from the bushes, and the eastern Moyao was wary of the horizontal sword. Who? After a moment of silence in the forest, suddenly a pure white jade-like hand brushed away the weeds in front of him, and a destitute young man in red appeared in front of the eastern Moyao. At the first sight of him, Mu Yao's eyes suddenly shook. She had never seen such a delicate young man before. His blood-red clothes were scraped by branches, revealing speckled porcelain white skin, and the fine sunlight fell on his long and curly eyelashes. His elegant and misty eyes looked at her with confusion and exploration, like ink cascading hair on his shoulder, his red lips lightly pursed, and even beautiful like a girl. The two of them gazed at each other, their white and red figures standing opposite each other under the sunset. The dazzling light outlined his straight outline, and the eastern Mu Yao involuntarily held her breath, not wanting to break this moment of calm. In an instant, the young boy looked at her with hope, and his clear voice spoke softly, Beautiful sister, can you take me back? Dong Fang Mu Yao withdrew his sword and asked, Who are you and why are you here? Speaking of this, the young man in red lowered his eyes listlessly and whispered, My name is Shen Wuchuan. Two days ago, I participated in the selection of the fairy sect in Faixian Valley, but accidentally fell here and got injured. I can't leave. After speaking, his extremely moving eyes looked pitifully at Mu Yao again and said, Can pretty sister take me home? For some reason, just glancing at him, Mu Yao felt her heart beating uncontrollably. However, when faced with such a beautiful young man, she warmed up a lot and said, I am a disciple of Yuin Mountain Manor, not from Feixian Valley. Upon hearing this, the young man's gaze visibly fell silent. After speaking, she suddenly thought of something and her expression changed in an instant. This man seems to be the canon fodder male supporting character in the original text. Due to the failure of the trial, he arrived here and was saved by the female lead. From then on, he admired the female lead. Later, at the suggestion of the female lead, Shen Wuchuan joined the Yuin Mountain Villa, while Lin Qingli went to the male lead sect. Dong Fang Muyao looks down on his junior apprentice, but he also disdains to fight against him. He just pulls him out to take the blame from behind every time, until he is not even a quarter of the book, and he is killed. A vivid little cannon fodder. The question is, how did you first encounter him? It must have been the wrong fork in the road just now. System. Should I go back the same way, and wait for the female protagonist to save him first? Dong Fang Muyao's mouth twitched. It's the same who saves. He will die when he should die. Again, the host is just a supporting role. Don't think your choice can change the world. The system is only responsible for providing help when the host needs it to help you complete the main story. Okay, Mu Yao recognized it. She tidied up her mood and said to the lonely boy, I'm going to Hejiang village first. You come with me. 
Upon hearing this, the young boy lifted his head in an instant, his black and white eyes eagerly looking at her. A sincere smile slowly bloomed on his blood-stained face. Thank you, sister. At this moment, the demonic aura was overflowing in Hajan village, and visible smoke shrouded in mid-air. Countless evil spirits attacked the villagers, and everyone remained closed, turning the entire village into a human purgatory. Ah, new text, still sweet text. With a lot of saved manuscripts, welcome to join the trap. The male lead will confess himself if he has a mouth, and the female lead will kill for him if he has hands, lightning protection. And the male lead is not a good type, especially a slut with a slutty aura, who can tee other men. For example, senior sister, I ate the pastry he gave you. He won't be angry, will he? He's so cruel to senior sister, if it were me, he wouldn't be willing to do it. Although he hurt me, I'm sure he didn't mean to. Senior sister, don't be angry about such a small matter, QAQ. Male green tea is always there. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Dongfang Mu Yao. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Dongfang Mu Yao Dongfang Mu Yao pulled out his Jiangqing sword, his elegant and beautiful face calmly staring at the demons in the sky. After determining the formation eye, he inserted his sword into the center of the earth and quickly activated the formation. The cold wind blew her moon white robe, and from beginning to end, she remained calm and skillfully completed her tasks without saying much. Shen Wuchuan remained obediently behind her, looking at her, with a hint of laughter hidden in his black eyes. But in an instant, he seemed to have discovered something and swiftly looked towards the depths of the village. At this moment, in the innermost wooden house of Hejiang village, Lin Qing was frantically packing up the treasures that had been stored in the cabinet for many years. These were all handed over to her family by Qin Yaozu, and she had even warned her parents that if there was any danger in the future, they could go to the Wenchur villa to find him. Although it is said to be a treasure, it is not really a precious thing. Some scattered bamboo sticks and gossip mirrors are all fortune tellers. When the young master and disciple Rong Emo were seriously injured, it was his family who happened to pass by and save them both. The young master saw that she was young and had no talent, so he left the secret of divination to her. However, she has never disclosed this matter in these years, for a simple reason. This thing can penetrate the mysteries of heaven, and random divination will only bring about longevity. She had just packed her package and was about to rush out. The next second, the sky outside turned pale, and the demon race was completely consumed. The spiritual light shone in again. Thinking everything was safe, she opened the door and boldly looked outside. Unexpectedly, a black light rushed straight towards the door and lifted her up. Black smoke had an ugly face, unable to see her physical form. In an instant, she had already been suspended in a hundred meters high altitude, and Lin Qingli was frightened and shouted in fear. Dong Fang Muyao looked keenly, only raising his hand and waving the blazing sword energy to force people, flickering with dazzling flames. Wherever he reached, there was no grass growing, and in an instant, he cut off the evil spirit from his waist. It was just a matter of trivial matters. The fleeing evil spirit was struck by the dimension reduction and reluctantly let out a final cry. Who the hell are you? Go back and tell you the demon lord. Dong Fang Mu Yao held the Zhanqing sword, and the spiritual light illuminated her face with black and white. Her eyebrows and eyes were cold, and she said word by word. Dong Fang family, Dong Fang Mu Yao. This statement resounds through thunder. They may not have heard of Dong Fang Muyao, a rising star, but Dong Fang Zhongqing, a genius young man from Yuin Mountain Villa, has made the world full of evil like thunder. It's not difficult to guess that at a similar age, Dong Fang Zhongqing is the brother of Dong Fang Muyao. They trembled and disappeared before her eyes as soon as they heard the name. Lin Qingli fell vertically again, and the cold wind cut her face like a knife making her unable to open her eyes. And just as she thought she was going to turn into flesh and mud, 
a slender arm in mid-air wrapped around her waist, and a cold breath enveloped her. In the air, white and pink figures slowly fall down, Lin Qingli finally regained his composure and stared at the girl in front of him in a daze. In that moment, it seemed as if all things had come to a standstill, the woman in white stood in mid-air, her clothes fluttering, and her eight-character bangs blowing down her cheeks. If it were just her elegant appearance that was unparalleled in the world, it would be fine. Her pure and untainted demeanor, coupled with her plain clothes, made her feel like she had fallen into the realm of the Nine Heavenly Empress, making it impossible to ignore the radiance on her body and take her gaze away. Everyone's gaze fell on her, and all the filthy demons in the world were continuously collected into her magical tools. At this moment, the Eastern Mu Yao satisfied all of Lin Qingli's immortal fantasies. It seems that the immortal heads were supposed to be like her. It seems that no one can compare to such a magnificent woman. What others didn't notice was that in an inconspicuous corner, Shen Wuchuan's cold gaze flashed over Lin Qingli. When the demon clan was all cleaned up, the Eastern Mu Yao slowly descended and suddenly sensed that someone seemed to be helping him. She followed the end of her spiritual power and saw a young master in white standing at the end of the forest, casting spells to assist her. This person is the male lead of the entire book. Rong Emo Rong Emo was also a spirited young man who initially wanted to turn the tide, but in this chaotic and dilapidated world, turning the tide was like swimming in a cesspool, and in the end, he sacrificed his own life. It was Rong Emo who witnessed Dong Fang Muyao save Lin Qingli with his own eyes, so in various subsequent events, he would use this to stimulate Lin Qingli. She has saved you all, where can her mind go bad? Don't slander her anymore, I see you're just repaying kindness to Balabara a cruel person is heartbroken. Rong Mo's appearance does indeed have the capital to be a male lead, with a bright and beautiful appearance that does not stain the dust. A reliable senior brother from the immortal sect makes it impossible to associate negative words with the man in front of him, who is full of beauty and charm. I remember when she read this book, she pounded her chest and feet for the straight male behavior of the male protagonist while boasting about their stunning love. Now that she was in this situation, she had become a third party, which can be said to be a stroke of luck. Beautiful sister is so amazing. A voice interrupted Mu Yao's thoughts, and she turned her head to see that the young boy was staring at her with a burning gaze, innocent and innocent as he spoke of his praise. Rong Emo naturally knew Dong Fang Muyao. After hesitating for a moment, he asked, Muyao, have you been doing well these years? Originally, Rong Emo, Dong Fang Muyao, and her brother Dong Fang Zhongqing were attending classes at an immortal sect. Due to Dong Fang Zhongqing's outstanding talent, he was selected by the immortal sect to go to the battlefield and achieve remarkable military achievements in the war against the demon clan. But just a year ago, Dong Fang Zhongqing died on the battlefield, and Dong Fang Muyao became the only young master, so he had to return to Yuin Mountain Villa to undergo family trials. Thank you for your concern. Everything is fine, Muyao, replied Dong Fang Muyao without any hesitation. She can neither be too eager nor too indifferent, he asks and she answers. Have you seen all the letters I wrote to you? Rong Emo asks somewhat unwillingly. Believe it. Dong Fang Muyao thought for a moment and said, I've never seen it before. Rong Emo was stunned for a moment, as if relieved with a bitter smile. So that's it, it's just that. Dong Fang Muyao frowned. The original work did not mention that Rong Mo had written a letter to her. She was quite curious about what was in the letter. Rong Mo still cares about Dong Fang Muyao very much, and in the end, he exchanged the communication Ling Yu with her, saying that if there is any need for help in the future, he can always go to the Wenchur Villa to find him. After exchanging contact information, Lin Qingli couldn't wait to sneak over and said, Are you the immortal head? Rong Emo looked at the woman in front of him, who looked beautiful and dressed simply, before realizing that she was his future wife. He replied, We are all righteous disciples. Lin Qingli became even more excited upon hearing this and said, Do you know the way to Wenshur Villa? 
The crowd was stunned for a moment and turned their gaze to Rong Imo. Rong Imo slowly said, I am a disciple of the Wenshur Villa. Miss, what do you need to convey? End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Kneeling Down You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 3 Kneeling Down Lin Qingli was a little surprised, and then immediately said with a smile, You shouldn't be seen your brother Rong, right? Have you forgotten? More than a decade ago, you and Grandmaster Qin Yao were injured. Rong Mo's eyes also lit up, and he said regretfully, It turned out to be Miss Lin, but my master has been wandering around for many years. Do you still want to come back to the world villa with me? Lin Qin's parents passed away a few years ago, and now he is carefree. He has just witnessed the world of the jungle and naturally wants to go back with him. I also want to cultivate and help these weak people like me. As the conversation between acquaintances began to take off, she turned her head and exclaimed in surprise, Ah! What about that white-clad sister just now? I haven't repaid her life.Saving kindness yet. Rong Yamo looked into the distance with a long gaze and said, We will meet by fate. The night was getting darker, and at this moment, Dong Fang Muyao and Shen Wuchuan were on their way down the mountain. Dong Fang Muyao said in a warm voice, Do you want to go back to Feixian Valley? I can take you there. Sure enough, Shen Wuchuan refused according to the plot in the original work, Can I go home with my beautiful sister? Dong Fang Muyao's gaze froze for a moment. Sure enough, no matter how much she disrupted the plot, she could always continue. Her own existence was just a fate arranged by others. In the darkness, Shen Wuchuan took the initiative to hold her hand and slowly clenched it, as if a young man who was not familiar with worldly affairs, sincerely saying slightly mysterious words. I want to be with my beautiful sister. As soon as they entered the Yuin Mountain Villa, everyone nodded and bowed, young master. The Dongfang aristocratic family is full of loyalty and martyrs. The father and brother of Dongfang Muyao all died on the battlefield. Now, the acting head of the entire Yui Mountain Villa is her mother Su Qionghua. After testing Shen Wuchuan's spiritual power, Su Qionghua nodded satisfactorily and said, You have a good talent and are a cultivator. From now on, you can join my sect. Shen Wuchuan immediately bowed to his master and said, I'll see you, master. He could tell that he was very happy and smiled at the Easter Muyao with a curved eyebrow and eyes. His beautiful appearance looked more like a little girl, but Muyao's mood remained calm. It was originally arranged by fate, with no waves at all. What is there to be happy about? All right, Muyao come with me, Su Qionghua withdrew her gaze and said to Dong Fang Muyao. Dong Fang Muyao followed Su Qionghua to the back hall, where several portraits were hung. The first two were of a young man and a young man, who were her father Dong Fang Jingyu and her brother Dong Fang Zhongqing. Kneel down, she said coldly, without the gentle expression she had just shown. The candlelight shone brightly, reflecting the cold and glamorous aura beneath her purple attire. Dong Fang Muyao knelt down in front of the two portraits, and Su Qionghua said coldly, I see that you have been slacking off these days. Things that could have been handled in just three or two days have been delayed for seven days, which is really far from your brother. Dong Fang Zhongqing is an unparalleled genius who can be pushed forward for five hundred years and backward for five hundred years. How many people in the world can surpass him? Originally, Dong Fang Muyao had poor health and talent since childhood, so she was not expected to have any hope. The next head of the family was also designated Dong Fang Zhongqing. But who would have thought that Dong Fang Zhongqing's life was short, it simply ruined the hope of the entire Dong Fang family. So Su Qionghua went crazy again and cultivated herself, hoping to become the second Eastern lover. Brother is an unparalleled genius, said Dong Fang Muyao calmly as he looked at the portrait in front of him. Muyao will work hard. What's the use of your efforts? If it weren't for the accumulation of pills over the years, you would have thought you could have come to where you are now. Su Qionghua retorted, Don't forget the responsibility you bear. Mu Yao dare not forget for a moment. 
Dong Fang Mu Yao's expression was somewhat solemn. She always feels like this old widow is PUA her. Over the years, your foundation has been laid, and it's time to go out and experience it. Don't let those old people think that our Yuin Mountain Villa is hopeless. Su Qionghua said without covering up, his eyes showing a sharp edge. Use your maximum potential, I want you to be my most handy sword. Yes. Su Qionghua handed her a map and said, there is something unusual happening on Tianxi Mountain. Humph, those old people are keeping it a secret. It's just that there are many natural resources and treasures inside, and I only need you to take one of them. At the border of the map, there was a herb drawn, and she continued, this medicine is called Danyang grass, which greatly enhances the secret techniques learned by our Yuin Mountain Villa. This move is only allowed to succeed without failure. She said coldly, if you can't get it, don't come back to see me. Yes. When Dong Fang Mu Yao left, a voice came from behind. Sister. Mu Yao turned her head, and at the end of the corridor stood a young man in black. The voice she had just heard was from the young man, who was her cousin Lu Qingdu. Lu Qingdu ran over excitedly and said, Sister, I didn't expect you to come back so soon. How about it? Is it fun outside? Dong Fang Mu Yao calmly said, the responsibility lies in not slacking off. Lu Qingdu continued, then you can take me to play next time. There are many family matters, I'll take you out once I've sorted them out. The system on Dong Fang Mu Yao has been on standby from morning till night, passing through a day without giving her any tasks. She arrived at the library according to her original memory and when the disciples outside the library saw her coming late at night, they immediately greeted her and said, Young Master. Over the past year, the original body has either been undergoing marrow washing and rebirth or has been practicing diligently. I believe all the letters from the male protagonist have been placed here. Has anyone written to me these days? Um, disciple Ning Zhong said, since the young master returned, there have been countless people writing letters. In order to distract you, the master ordered that all of these people's belongings be suppressed. Because Dong Fang Mu Yao had left too quickly, Rong Mo always remembered her and wrote letters to care for her every now and then. Unexpectedly, not a single letter fell into Dong Fang Mu Yao's hands. Dong Fang Mu Yao rummaged through the silent bookshelf for many years and finally found those letters. She opened each seal according to the period. Mu Yao Qingqi. When I returned to Bilyuo Academy, I was told that you had already left, and unfortunately, I couldn't see you for the last time. I know that the death of Dong Fang Zhongqing will have a great impact on Yuin Mountain Villa, but if someone dies, they cannot be resurrected. Don't be too sad. The most important thing now is to cherish your own strength and keep a low profile. They all want you to become the second Eastern lover, but I hope one day you can surpass love and avenge him with your own hands. Wenchir Mountain Villa Rongmo Mu Yao Qingqi I heard that you have become the young master of the family, and I am very happy for you. You are not the little girl who couldn't even hold a sword before. Perhaps when we meet again, you will be my close comrade in arms. Wenchir Mountain Villa Rongmo Mu Yao Qingqi Is life busy? Still angry that I couldn't see you. Dong Fang Mu Yao looked at the letter in her hand slowly while playing with the envelope, pondering what kind of feelings the male protagonist had towards her now. However, while playing, she suddenly felt something was wrong. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Injured Junior Brother You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Injured Junior Brother After some exploration, Another golden leaf fell out of the envelope, and upon checking the other envelopes, it was also found. This should be the male lead's token. In front of the candlelight, the golden leaves shined brightly without any special features. Dong Fang Mu Yao thought for a moment, and their current psychological state should be that Rong Mo and Dong Fang Zhongqing were once good friends. Dong Fang Zhongqing took care of her out of pity after her death but was misunderstood by her original identity as the male protagonist liking her and brought up many things that followed. 
The true Eastern demon may have great ideals, but Zhang Miao doesn't. Her idea is simple. Since she can't go back, she just lies flat and plays her solo role in a basic and orderly manner, then struggles a little more. If you can't struggle out, then let it go bad. The old widow Su Qionghua asked her to find herbs, so she went through this muddy water. It was late at night, and she returned to her bamboo residence. She took a photo of herself in the bronze mirror, propped her chin up, and watched for a while before finally lying flat and sleeping without any waves. Sure enough, he had a white lotus face that was a disaster to the country and the people. When she woke up the next day, she thought there might be some special plot triggering, but the system didn't mention anything about her cultivation. Whether you cultivate or not in the current plot will not affect your future development. It's just that you are strong enough to protect others, and you are weak enough to be protected by others. After thinking for a moment, Mu Yao still went to practice, and it wouldn't be wrong to hold the right to choose in her own hands. After reading for half a day in the morning, combined with her original muscle memory, she roughly understood the mechanism of this world. She was planning to go to the small kitchen to get some pastries to cushion her stomach, but as soon as she left the bamboo forest, she saw the young man in red in front of her. Shen Wuchuan's reaction should have been an accidental encounter. Surprised, his handsome little face pulled out a smile and said, It's so coincidental, good morning senior sister. Dong Fang Muyao stopped in her tracks and said, Shen Wuchuan. Was preparing for a hurry yesterday. Did you settle down in Yuin Mountain Villa well? Senior sister Lao is worried, I live here very well. The sunlight was dazzling, and Shen Wuchuan took the initiative to speak, his eyes shining brightly. Senior sister, in the future, just call me Achuan. That's how my brother called me when he was at home. Originally, he was just a passerby in his own life. After hearing this sentence, Mu Yao became interested and said, Do you still have an older brother? Shen Wuchuan suddenly lazily lifted one arm, as if stretching his waist but hesitating to maintain this movement. Following her words, when I was young, my parents didn't care about me, it was my brother who raised me. It seems that you have a good brotherly relationship. He must be very happy that you can enter the immortal sect, said Dong Fang Mu Yao with a nod. I am happier than someone who can become stronger and protect oneself. He smiled slightly, as if intentionally or unintentionally, his gaze always fixed on Mu Yao. The sunshine today was a bit scorching, and it took Mu Yao half a day to think of something. Looking at it with the hand he was holding up, his heart suddenly understood. From this perspective, Shen Wuchuan is using his own body to shield her from the sunlight. Mu Yaodong's pupils narrowed slightly and quickly shifted his gaze, saying, The master gave me a qi training book yesterday, which is perfect for beginners like you. First, learn all the things inside and come find me if there are any areas you don't know. Thank you, senior sister. He took the secret script with both hands, and at this moment, the two of them were very close, clear enough to see the subtle differences between each other at a glance. Of course, it also includes the red bloodstains on the side of his face. Wait. What's going on on your face? Dong Fang Muyao instantly became solemn, staring intently at the tiny wound on his cheek close to his ear, which was about three or four centimeters long. If he hadn't looked carefully, he wouldn't have noticed it. Shen Wuchuan is already very beautiful, but now it seems like a perfectly carved porcelain doll has been scratched with a flaw, which is a great pity. Shen Wuchuan touched his profile skeptically upon hearing the words, then nervously turned his face and said, It's nothing serious, maybe it was an injury he received in Hejiang village yesterday. This wound is so new, do you think I'm so easy to fool? Dong Fan Muyao frowned. That might have been when a branch came over just now, he pursed his lips and said to himself, Oh my, it seems you need to be more careful when walking next time and not let senior sister worry. Dot. He said so, and Dong Fang Muyao couldn't ask further. Just as Shen Wuchuan turned around and walked away, she stopped him and said, I have a bottle of golden wound medicine here, take it and apply it. After all, being so good. Dot looking, 
how could one not cherish their face? Shen Wuchuan held the bottle of elixir with a high spirit and shook it at her along with the secret script. His red robe shimmered with the youthful energy and he said, Thank you, senior sister. Su Qionghua wanted her to go to Tianqi Mountain as soon as possible, and Dong Fang Muyao also began her own planning. In the original work, both Lu Qingdu and Shen Wuchuan will go, and it will be their own drama to stir up the relationship between the male and female leads. Yuin Mountain Villa mainly focuses on fire techniques, and the quenching of its unique skills can drive away evil spirits, slay demons, and eliminate demons. After lunch, Mu Yao started meditating and breathing in the bedroom according to her original memory. For a moment, she opened her eyes in a cold sweat. The foundation of this body is really poor. As long as she transports gas, there are two opposing breath movements in it. Practicing it is simply half the effort. No wonder the Jade Hidden Mountain Villa only supported Dongfang Zhongqing before. And unless absolutely necessary, Mu Yao cannot be injured yet. Her original body has been in poor health since childhood, and seemingly inconspicuous wounds will be infinitely enlarged, making recovery particularly difficult. I really found the worst script. After resting for a few days, Dong Fang Muyao planned to go and see Shen Wuchuan. He had just started his beginner's cultivation and didn't know if he could withstand this instance. The bamboo houses of the two were quite close together. As they walked along a cobblestone path, several disciples passed by whispering gossip. Brother Lu has been looking for Brother Shen too frequently these past few days, haven't he? Isn't it a bit excessive? Don't worry, don't worry, we can't handle this either. It depends on his own fate. Mu Yao quietly passed by and remembered. When she arrived at his palace in the evening, he was not inside. Just as she felt puzzled, a voice came from behind. Why did senior sister come? Mu Yao turned to look at him, but at this moment, Shen Wuchuan's figure was somewhat disheveled, with a few strands of broken hair hanging in front of her. Her face was slightly pale, and even the tip of her nose was covered in dust. What did you do? How did it end up like this? Dong Fang Mu Yao walked a few steps in shock and carefully examined, only to find that there was still a wound on his neck, almost cutting a blood vessel. It's nothing. I accidentally injured it myself. He wanted to cover it up and immediately covered his neck. Can I do this on my own? Do you think I'm stupid? Dong Fang Mu Yao grabbed his arm, and to his surprise, Shen Wuchuan's delicate little face suddenly wrinkled and took a cold breath. His dear eyes were a bit pitiful with sparkling water. Ah Chuan. Dong Fang Mu Yao was shocked and immediately lifted his sleeve, only to see that it was covered in blue and purple wounds. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. Encountering Ex-Boyfriend. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5 Encountering Ex-Boyfriend In just a few days, being abused like this, Dong Fang Muyao looked at Shen Wuchuan's face in shock and couldn't help but say, who did it? Senior sister, don't ask anymore. Shen Wuchuan refused to say anything more, pursing his lips and gently gripping her hand. I am just a novice disciple, and I don't deserve senior sister's concern. Don't hurt our school's relationship for me. Based on the plot of the original work, Mu Yao probably knows who did it. Looking do. He always has the image of a lawless and chaotic demon king. Since Shen Wuchuan became Su Qionghua's junior brother, he always couldn't stand Shen Wuchuan, so he asked him to come to practice every now and then. It was obvious that he was helping him cultivate, but in reality, he just used him as an outlet for anger. Compared to Lu Qingdu's rebellion, Shen Wuchuan's obedience made Mu Yao feel even more distressed, and his obedience also reminded Mu Yao of himself. Even if there is no other choice, one must try to walk it alone. In the future, you can practice with me. No matter who comes again, you are not allowed to leave with him. Senior Sister Shen Wuchuan was stunned. You are my junior brother and equally important to Yuin Mountain Villa, added Mu Yao. You should prepare well these days, and in a few days, I will take you out to experience. Okay, 
Achuan remembers. Shen Wuchuan smiled. In a place that Mu Yao had not seen, a hint of strangeness appeared in Shen Wuchuan's eyes. He had already arranged for several days, only waiting for Dong Fang Mu Yao to come here to find him. When she was not in Juju, she would definitely wait for a while. Coincidentally, there were a few disciples who liked to catch the wind and shadow, and they would definitely meet. It doesn't matter if he doesn't encounter it, he has other ways to make her notice him. After treating Shen Wuchuan's injuries, Dong Fang Mu Yao went to find Lu Qingdu. At this time, Lu Qingdu was still playing archery in his yard, unaware of the seriousness of the situation. Sister. He's just an entry.level disciple. If I don't practice with him, will he grow? Lu Qingdu snorted coldly. I didn't expect this kid to like to complain so much. I'll go find him. You come back. Dong Fang Muyao's face looked ugly. Where did Achuan file a complaint? Even though he was injured like that, he still defended Lu Qingdu. His younger brother is really not a worry. Lu Qingdu hugged his arm and said, Who is your younger brother? Why do you care about him so much? Who can't be blamed for the jungle in the blue land? He is a disciple of my mother's sect and my junior brother. How can you bully him at will? Upon hearing her move out of Su Qionghua, Lu Qingdu reluctantly muttered in a low voice, Hmm, I really don't know what my aunt thinks, how could she bring such a useless firewood into the door? Everyone is from the same family, and in the future, there will be plenty of time to spend together day and night. You should also pay attention to moderation. Yes, yes, I understand. He casually agreed without any concern. Mu Yao told him about the Tianqi Mountain together, and sure enough, the boy's eyes lit up as soon as he heard that he was going out. It's great to go out, I love going out and playing. My mother always keeps an eye on me. If you were there, she would definitely let me go. This trip is not for fun, don't miss out on big things. I'll pick you up in a few days. Okay, sister, I'll do whatever you want me to do, he said happily. Shen Wuchuan was still seriously injured, but he had to go for the main storyline. Mu Yao felt a little sorry for this young man with a difficult fate like herself, so she took more care of him, helping him heal his wounds every day and practicing swordsmanship with him. However, Wuchuan had just practiced and his posture was not very standard. Even if he taught him hand in hand, he could still fall into her arms several times a day. Then, when Mu Yao didn't react, he left with a red face and muttered to himself, causing Mu Yao to scold him, it's okay, it's much better than before. The two of them practiced swordsmanship together, and some unknown feelings were gradually heating up. Under the guidance of Mu Yao, Shen Wuchuan did make great progress, and the two of them became more and more familiar. Senior sister is so young, why does she keep a straight face all day? Apart from practicing, she also reads books. There are still many things to do in the world. When resting, he mischievously sat next to Mu Yao and handed her a piece of cake. Dong Fang Mu Yao was taken aback for a moment, then took off the pastry and said, the relationship between the demon clan and the Dao alliance has become increasingly tense. Neither you nor I can slack off. In fact, she didn't want to care about so much right and wrong, but even if she didn't do it, her fate with Shen Wuchuan was already predetermined, and the next step was to wait for the end of life. She couldn't think of anything else to be happy about. Senior sister should smile a little more. Achuan has been in the school for so long and has never seen any other expression on his senior sister's face. He propped his head up and studied Dong Fang Mu Yao. After thinking for a long time, he hooked his lips and said, then I will spend more time with senior sister and find more interesting things to show you. Dong Fang Mu Yao's eyes flickered and he looked at him. Shen Wuchuan smiled and said, senior sister is only 17 years old, so we shouldn't be confined to the small world. The clear voice resounded in my ears, and the eastern Mu Yao was touched, but ultimately turned into a sigh in my heart, letting the wind blow away. Five days later, 
the three of them left Yuin Mountain Villa dressed up because it was not easy to leak any news about this matter. They were afraid of attracting attention and did not leave so quickly. Just before the sun set, they discovered an inn on a narrow path. There were not many people at the inn, and the people eating below were all merchants. Dong Fang Muyao went upstairs to check her room and decided to come out for dinner after confirming that there were no problems. However, just as she pushed open the door, the door next to her also opened, and a man in white walked out from inside. Two people looked up at each other, and in an instant, both of them were frozen in place. Luonan Island. Incredible. The familiar address made the two of them feel like they had poured a bucket of cold water and were mostly sober. Luananzu, her ex-boyfriend, who is now the senior brother of Faixian Valley. Luananzu was stunned for a moment, glanced at the person below, and then gritted his teeth and grabbed Dong Fang Muyao's arm, pulling her to his own room. Closing the door, he angrily said, What do you mean? We've already broken up, and you've been following me. What do you really want to do? Looking at the once handsome face that was so indifferent to him now, Dong Fang Mu Yao paused slightly and then looked at him calmly, saying, Luan Anzu, don't be so arrogant, make way. Luan Anzu angrily said, I didn't expect you to be so haunted. I told you not to even think about it. My junior sister is still down there, please stop pestering me and leave here immediately. Upon hearing these words, the only remaining emotions of Dong Fang Mu Yao were also shattered. That day, he had just passed through the valley and was undergoing a trial inside the Faixian Valley Gate. He had abandoned himself directly to find his junior sister. Her lips twitched slightly and she sarcastically said, Do you think you're the only one dressed as a disciple of the immortal sect? End of this chapter Chapter 6 Revenge You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Revenge, What Do You Mean? Luo Nan Zhou stared at her with a sinister gaze, no longer showing her former tenderness. My name is Dong Fang Mu Yao now, do you understand? Mu Yao said. Luo Nan Zhou frowned, searched through his only memory of this novel, and finally found a few words, then widened his eyes and said, You are that villainous woman. It's good to know my identity. Mu Yao wanted to leave, but the next second he grabbed his arm. Luo Nan Zhou Yi didn't give up, then I can't let you bully my junior sister. If you don't want to die, leave here immediately. Mu Yao shook off his hand and sneered, Do you still want to kill me? If you keep bothering me, see if I dare. He roared and a few veins burst out from his neck. Dong Fang Mu Yao clenched her fist and didn't expect Luo Nan Zhu to be so narcissistic. She really took her eyes off it. Who does he think he is? I haven't had time to do the task myself, how could I have the leisure to seek revenge on him? However, what made her even more saddened was that a person's changes could be so significant in different environments. The boy who used to be gentle and whispering by her side no longer exists. The eastern demon refused to be outdone, quickly pinching the formula in his hand, and a blazing flame immediately burst out. Luananzu didn't react and immediately got a big burn on her arm. She took a cold breath and let go of her. As soon as Dong Fang Muyao's hand was placed on the door, Luo Nanzhou angrily grabbed her shoulder and pulled her back. She used to be a lover, but now she is an enemy. Without saying a word, they started fighting. There was a lot of noise in the room, which quickly caught the attention of the outside. The two of them were fighting fiercely in this room, and Lu Qingdu and Shen Wuchuan immediately rushed upstairs when they heard the commotion. The door was broken open by Shen Wuchuan, and Lu Qingdu rushed in in with great enthusiasm, saying, Sister. The people who came were not only from Yuin Mountain Villa, but also the junior brothers and sisters from Faixian Valley. Lu Qingdu blocked Dong Fang Muyao behind him and angrily looked at the man in front of him, Who are you so special? You dare to take action against my elder sister. The senior brothers of Faixian Valley immediately came over to strengthen their positions, rushing into the small room without showing any weakness, and said, Which non-mainstream small sect are you? Do you know who my senior brother is? 
Faixian Valley. Shen Wuchuan's calm gaze flashed across everyone's faces, only pausing for a moment on the faces of the leader, Luo Nanzhou. Luo Nanzhou snorted coldly and hugged his arm, saying to the eastern Moyao, Faixian Valley used to be inferior to Yuin Mountain Villa, but now times have changed. What else can you do in Yuin Mountain Villa? Can you compare to our immortal sect? Mu Yao had already understood the underlying meaning of his words. What is your current family background? Do you think you are a noble lady from above? Do you still want to touch me? Dream it. When we were dating before, he didn't have this attitude. However, he also has the capital of disdain. After all, he is a supporting role to assist men and women in the original book. It's really not a good end for him to be a villain. Oh, I turned out to be a disciple of Yuin Mountain Villa. Everyone is from the same sect, so why not sit down and have a good conversation? At this moment, the young junior sister of Faixian Valley, who had been hesitating outside for a long time, finally walked in. Just now, she couldn't grasp who Dongfang Muyao was and thought she had caused big trouble. Now, she breathed a sigh of relief and gently made a comeback, saying, then this senior sister should be the young master of Yuin Mountain Villa, Dongfang Muyao. I've heard of you for a long time, and I've always wanted to know you. When I saw you today, you looked extraordinary. Everyone is a disciple of the immortal sect. There must be some misunderstanding, senior brother. Are you right after speaking, the lively and lovely little junior sister blinked at Luo Nanjo. Luo Nanjo indeed followed her and stopped mocking her. It was the disciples of Faixian Valley who changed their faces upon hearing the words. Oh, it turns out to be Dongfang's beloved younger sister. How did the people of the Dongfang family come here? Shouldn't it have the same purpose as us? Lu Qingdu frowned and asked Mu Yao, Sister, have you been injured? How did this kid bully you? I'll help you fight back. Dongfang Mu Yao didn't hesitate, shook her head and turned around, saying, Don't worry about irrelevant people. Lu Qingdu was stunned for a moment glared fiercely at Luan Anzu, and followed her away. Shen Wuchuan slowly withdrew his gaze and walked down the steps, looking at the hesitant shop assistant. He immediately apologized and replied, I'm sorry, I just accidentally broke the door. I'll compensate you with money. You can find someone to fix it. Faced with the young man who voluntarily admitted his mistake, the shop assistant breathed a sigh of relief and said, Okay, be careful and don't fight anymore. Shen Wuchuan handed him a pearl, which was moon white and still had a purple glow. At first glance, it was worth a lot. This time, the shopkeeper had a crooked smile on his lips. Shen Wuchuan took a few steps and seemed to have thought of something else. He turned around and said, Since it needs to be renovated, that room shouldn't be able to accommodate anyone right. The shop assistant immediately understood his meaning and said, that's right, I immediately asked them to change rooms. Thank you very much, my senior sister happens to like cleanliness. In the room, the senior brothers of Faixian Valley were still somewhat unwilling. Senior brother, should we just let her leave like this? We Faixian Valley are not afraid of her. Open your mouth, Dongfang falls in love, Shut up Dongfang falls in love, Dongfang falls in love. The grass on her grave is already two meters tall. How can she tolerate it in Yuin Mountain Villa? Compared to the aggressiveness of those men, the little junior sister who looked like a daughter flower was much gentler. She came to Luonan Island to examine his wound, and her charming eyes flickered with heartfelt tears. I didn't expect her to hit so hard. It hurts so much here. Senior brother doesn't have a deep friendship with her, why did they start fighting in just a few words? Luananzu let her handle the wound and snorted coldly upon hearing the words, it's just some trivial matters. Don't worry about it. Next time she comes to pester me, I will definitely not let her go. A hint of pride flashed in the eyes of the young junior sister. It turned out that the young master of Yuin Mountain Villa was just like that. In the eyes of the senior brother, she was simply inferior to herself. This night, 
the inn was almost fully booked. A figure sneaked out of the room, looked around to make sure it was correct, waved back, and then another person followed closely behind. The two of them walked all the way to the third floor, looking at the room in front of them in silence for a long time. In an instant, Shen Wuchuan struggled and said, Senior Brother Lu, it's not good to do this. It will harm the innocent. What the hell, that's my sister. He is nothing in Luananzu. If you dare to fight with my sister, you must be prepared to pay the price. Lu Qingdu said proudly. If it were back in the days when Eastern love was still there, how could Faixian Valley be so arrogant? He Lu Qingdu walks horizontally on the blue land. Who dares to embarrass him? If it weren't for the Eastern demon's advice during the day not to make any unnecessary mistakes, he would have retaliated on the spot. At the signal of Lu Qingdu, Shen Wuchuan opened the bottle. As soon as the scattered things inside flew out, the porcelain bottle in his hand was snatched away by someone. End of this chapter Chapter 7 It's okay, it's not hot. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 It's okay, it's not hot, senior sister. Shen Wuchuan looked at the people around him in confusion and immediately became at a loss. Dong Fang Muyao glanced at what was inside the bottle and her face immediately turned ugly. Huilin Powder, what do you want to do? After hesitating for a while, Lu Qingdu reluctantly replied, Who made them disrespect you? Give them a lesson. The Muyao had already subdued him, and she desperately pulled him out of the pit of fire. He was doing well and desperately wanted to die. If you continue to be so reckless, you will definitely suffer a big loss one day, said Dong Fang Muyao coldly. I brought you here for your experience, not to cause trouble. If you continue like this, you will return to Yuin Mountain Villa. Lu Qingdu opened his mouth to refute, but under the intimidating gaze of Dong Fang Muyao, he still reluctantly snorted, got it. After he returned listlessly, Shen Wuchuan obediently came over to admit his mistake. Senior sister, I'm sorry, I. I know he forced you, Dong Fang Muyao interrupted him and returned the medicine bottle to him in his stunned gaze. Adu has a rash personality, don't learn from him. I have disappointed my senior sister, Shen Wuchuan lowered his gaze. I won't let such a thing happen again next time. Besides hurting others, Huilin powder can also protect itself. Keep it. Okay, listen to senior sister. The next day, Dong Fang Muyao sat in the hall board, waiting for breakfast today. Before this box could react, a dark shadow pressed over her. Looking up, Luo Nanjo sat across from her with a relaxed expression. There's someone here, she said lightly. Are you also going to Tianxi Mountain, he said calmly as he opened the door and said, it seems that the plot is written like this, but I tell you, I will definitely get what's inside. It's best for you to leave quickly. Have you finished speaking? Dong Fang Muyao calmly drank a cup of tea and said, let's go after speaking. My patience with you is limited. My patience is also limited, Muyao raised her eyes without any warmth. For the sake of you saving me before. Two people with their eyes facing each other, each with a thousand words in their eyes. In modern times, Dong Fang Muyao had just returned to China and encountered a car accident. After lying in bed for half a year, she still couldn't walk. Long suppressed and worried that she would never be able to stand up again, she suffered from bipolar disorder, with obvious symptoms including depression and mania, and Luo Nanzhou happened to be her psychologist. Speaking of the past, Luo Nanzhou pursed his lips and remained silent for a long time, saying, I have already warned you that when you get there, you will only drag your feet. After speaking, he stood up, but to his surprise, Shen Wuchuan had just brewed tea and walked over. When he bumped into him, the hot tea immediately poured onto Wuchuan's body, and the young man's fair arms were visibly red and swollen. The tea cup was shattered and overturned, and the eastern Muyao suddenly stood up and said, Hechuan. She anxiously approached Shen Wuchuan, lifted the sleeve, and indeed saw a large lump inside. Is there anything wrong? 
Dong Fang Muyao's attention was all focused on him and quickly asked. Shen Wuchuan's forehead was covered in cold sweat, but he still turned around and whispered to comfort her, it's okay, it's not too hot. There are still wisps of white smoke on the floor tiles, how could it not be hot? At this moment, Shen Wuchuan's pitiful and patient expression once again aroused Mu Yao's desire for protection. Luo Nanzhou stood awkwardly behind him, surprised to see that the situation between lightning, fire, and stones had become like this. I. Don't you even look when you walk. Dong Fang Mu Yao lost patience with Luo Nanzhou and said angrily. Luananzu. Dot. He feels so frustrated in his heart. How did he pay attention when he turned his back to Shen Wuchuan? How does Luananzu feel that the young man in red in front of him intentionally bumped into him? Otherwise, I wouldn't have come to play earlier, but I would have come when I left. But seeing Shen Wuchuan's innocent appearance and the heartache in the eyes of Dong Fang Muyao, he knew that nothing he said was useless now. It's like being dumbfounded. He left restlessly and didn't say a word more. Shen Wuchuan sat with Mu Yao, and Dong Fang Mu Yao calmly applied medicine to him. Crystal condensed fat was applied to the wound, and Wu Chuan said on the surface that it didn't hurt, but he would still bite his lips tightly and suck in the cold air low. The injury is too serious, it needs to be bandaged. Dong Fang Muyao wrapped him with gauze and finally tied a bow around his wrist. Shen Wuchuan had been paying attention to her expression all along, and finally spoke up, Senior Sister. You know him very well. Dong Fang Muyao paused for a moment and put down his sleeve, saying, There have been several connections. Oh, he knew how to be measured and didn't ask further. Lu Qingdu walked over, nibbling on a big chicken leg, and asked the two of them vaguely, how did you two sit together? Dong Fang Muyao said, it's not a good thing for the people of Faixian Valley to be here. After eating, we should set off immediately and make sure to arrive at Tianqi Mountain before them. Okay, I've been displeased with them for a long time. Stay away from them, Lu Qingdu nodded. After two days and a night's journey, they finally arrived at the foot of Tianqi Mountain. Mu Yao had informed them in advance that Danyang Grass would be the first to enter the valley this time, and they would find it as soon as possible and return. But unfortunately, the plot won't allow them to be so smooth and unobstructed, after all, the male and female leads will still come later. How can places with male and female leads be without magnificent crises and dangers? Taking advantage of the darkness, the eastern Moyao calmly said, Enter the mountain. The pitch black valley is open and quiet, with moonlight reflecting on the stone walls and emitting blue light. Beams of light shine through the leaves, creating a magnificent and mysterious atmosphere. Danyang grass is suitable for the cultivation of fire attributes, and it takes 50 years to grow into a single plant. According to the map, the pearl that needs to mature recently is located on the highest mountain cliff. Be careful when you come in. Not only are we staring at this mountain, but other sects may set up formations nearby, Mu Yao reminded. There are numerous natural resources and treasures in Tianqi Mountain, but it is also accompanied by unknown dangers. The outer forest alone has gathered many venomous snakes, and as you walk deeper, you can feel the strong miasma in the forest. My eyes are sore from the smoke. Lu Qingdu coughed twice and swung his sword to smash the vines in front of him. Their fire system was heavy, and ordinary venomous snakes were just spitting out messages on the branches, ready to unleash their power and not daring to act recklessly. Sensing a strange movement in front of them, Mu Yao immediately stopped them and said, There is a trap ahead, be careful. The two of them stopped and indeed saw that the nearby grassland was very lush, and upon closer inspection, they could see the golden net hidden below. It should be to capture the monsters in the mountains, Shen Wuchuan said. If this formation cannot be unraveled, it will be discovered by the person who set it up. The Eastern Mu Yao immediately said, Please assist me in activating the formation. They understood and immediately infused all their skills into the Eastern Mu Yao. Mu Yao stood in the center, her magic condensed from her hands, and the fluctuating energy brushed her hair. 
As the magic gradually injected into the big net, the threads on the golden net were gradually pulled away, and the expressions of the three of them also relaxed a lot. If there is no accident, there will be an accident. T is dead ha ha, end of this chapter. Chapter 8 She is the Lord of the World You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 She is the Lord of the World When relieving the formation, I was afraid of clones. The three of them dared not move at all, but unfortunately, at this moment, a sharp voice suddenly came from across from them. Ah, how terrifying! Dong Fang Muyao lifted her head and watched helplessly as a girl in pink rushed towards them. Dong Fang Muyao! Don't come over! The newcomer is none other than the female lead Lin Qingli who drives the development of the plot. Lin Qingli was so anxious that he even saw his life. Saving benefactor. Even from a long distance, he didn't hear Mu Yao shouting anything. Seeing her anxious appearance, he thought he was urging him to go quickly. Lin Qingli was almost moved to death, so he twisted his waist and ran towards her, saying, Dong Fang senior sister, help me. Don't come over. Senior sister, Dong Fang Mu Yao was still hesitating, and as Lin Qingli was about to trigger the formation, suddenly one hand pulled Dong Fang Mu Yao out of the danger zone. Pounce. The poor little white flower female protagonist was quickly taken away by the big net, not only her mana was completely blocked, but her whole body felt as if she had been pricked by a needle. Lin Qingli was hung from a tree, and he shrunk his body in injustice, almost to the point of tears. Standing beside Mu Yao, Shen Wuchuan stared coldly at Lin Qingli, and his impression of her became even worse. He was hugged by his senior sister just as we met, and almost hit her just now. He was reckless and didn't know how to handle it properly. Dong Fang Muyao frowned and said, They all told you not to come over. Not only does the supporting role die, but the female leader also dies. However, if the female leader does not die, how can the plot go on? Lin Qing came from more than one person, and soon another man followed her. The man, with a clear and bright moon, is proud of the snow and frost. He is dressed in white clothes with a graceful demeanor, and it is the male protagonist Rong Mo who guards the world in the original work. Qing Li Jr. Sister Rong Mo looked at the girl on the tree in shock, not expecting that she would become like this in an instant. Detected the whereabouts of the male lead, please continue to maintain your persona. How can we still maintain it? Just be a scumbag and flirt with him. Rong Mo was also stunned when he saw Dong Fang Muyao, but Lin Qingli was still hanging. He couldn't think much and immediately rescued her. Lin Qingli had several bloodstains on his body, and he looked down pitifully. Rong Mo only had time to talk to Dong Fang Muyao and said, How could you be here? Dong Fang Muyao nodded and said, Come and find a herb. Rong Mo immediately said, I can help. Mu Yao looked at the two of them and asked knowingly, Is young master Rong here? Rong Emo pursed his lips and said, Senior uncle observed the celestial phenomena at night and noticed that there might be heavenly materials and earthly treasures here, so he ordered me to come. Junior sister is young and energetic, so she insisted on following me and came with me, causing trouble for you. One of the unique skills of Faixian Valley is to be able to calculate divination, but his martial uncle is not as good as his master Qin Yaozu. Almost killed by you, what is chasing you? Lu Qingdu angrily said. Upon hearing this, Lin Qingli said in fear, my senior brother and I were just here to look for treasures. We didn't bring so many senior brothers, but as soon as we entered. There were many ghosts inside. It's so scary, there were too many, so we quickly came out. There should be someone else who set up this formation, Shen Wuchuan analyzed. Someone should have entered earlier than us. It's impossible to go back and shake people now. Dong Fang Mu Yao suggested, the damage of the ghost tribe will be reduced during the day. Let's rest for a night and go back tomorrow. The plot in the original work was about Dong Fang Mu Yao pleading with Rong Mo, but Rong Mo agreed without saying a word. As a result, the house was stolen by the ghost tribe in the early morning, 
and the female protagonist almost died. Fortunately, Rong Mo placed Dong Fang Muyao and went to save her, which saved her life. Sure enough, after hearing this proposal, Rong Mo nodded almost without any hesitation and said, Okay, just listen to Mu Yao. So the five of them stationed themselves on the spot, with a bonfire rising in the middle. The flickering flames shone on everyone's faces, and everyone also had their own ulterior motives at this moment. I just brought some medicine here. Dong Fang Muyao gave Lin Qingli a porcelain vase. Lin Qingli's originally listless eyes suddenly lit up and said, Thank you, senior sister Dong Fang. After hesitating for a while, Lin Qingli quietly moved towards the eastern Muyao and then looked at her with a smile, Last time senior sister left in a hurry, I haven't repaid her life. Saving kindness. Don't take it to heart, said Dong Fang Muyao, quietly watching the fire without any ripples. Lin Qingli blinked and said, This senior sister is so cold. Lin Qingli seemed to have thought of something, and immediately took out a compass or something from the small cloth bag he carried with him. I know my talent is not good, and I can't practice swordsmanship well either. I received guidance from Master Qin Yao when I was young, and I have learned a lot at the Wenshu Villa these days. Senior sister, I will calculate a divination for you, and it will be considered as gratitude to drive away disasters and avoid disasters for you. In the original work, Lin Qingli never calculated someone's fate, and this setting was almost forgotten by the author, which was calculated for the male lead in the final episode, but unfortunately it was a death hexagram. Dong Fang Muyao shook her head and said, I don't believe in these. You believe me, this is very clever. I don't just give it to people casually. Lin Qing is reluctant to let go of EE, and counting it once can shorten her lifespan. Just give me the birth date and eight characters. Dong Fang Muyao couldn't resist her and finally gave her the eight characters. I really don't know why my rival's art style has become abstract. Lin Qingli received her eight characters and happily drew a circular pattern on the ground, with dense and incomprehensible words written inside. Finally, he closed his eyes and muttered words with his hands clasped together. Everyone else was preparing ingredients, and even Dong Fang Muyao's attention was not focused. Everyone treated Lin Qingli's words as a joke. After reciting the spell, Lin Qingli tossed up the five copper coins in his hand, and these coins landed in four positions outside the circle. The last one, on the other hand, landed at the center without bias. Lin Qingli's smile suddenly froze. How could this be? The position outside the circle represents the main position. If it were to suppress one or two, it would be fine. Lin Qing believes that the Eastern Mu Yao will be able to dominate the continent and become the leader of the two tribes in the future. But unfortunately, there are only four. Speaking of the middle position, it's a dead hexagram. Is she the one who was once prophesied to be the co-ruler of the world? The future master who controls the four realms? Lin Qingli widened his eyes as if he had discovered something extraordinary. What's wrong? Mu Yao didn't even make a fuss after seeing her, and she was still a bit uncomfortable. No it's okay. Lin Qingli's voice trembled slightly, and he forced out a smile. Senior sister Dong Fang's destiny is the best I've ever seen. You will definitely become famous all over the world in the future. End of this chapter Chapter 9 Poisoning the Wrong Person You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Poisoning the Wrong Person, I borrow your auspicious words, said the Eastern Mu Yao lightly. Since Lin Qingli finished divining for her, she has become restless. She quickly wiped off the formation and lowered her head without saying a word. Don't let others know this secret, it will be exploited by those with intentions. The fact that Dong Fang Mu Yao is the co-ruler of the world can only rot in her stomach. When they entered the mountain just now, they hunted some prey. Dong Fang Mu Yao was enjoying her dinner, and the system slapped her with a task. In the original work, the Eastern Moyao loved Muro Mo and was particularly jealous of Lin Qingli when she saw him entangled by his side. 
So she gave a package of soul-stirring powder to Shen Wuchuan, a big injustice, and indirectly hinted to him that if Lin Qingli took this package of medicine, Lin Qingli's liking for him would definitely skyrocket. As for what this soul-stirring powder is, I understand it. Shen Wuchuan believed that his senior sister wouldn't deceive him, so he went. As a result, Lin Qin was taken away by ghosts and monsters, and had to be rescued by the male lead. As a result, they were alone, and their relationship quietly heated up, which made Dong Fang Mu's demonic aura strong enough. Should Dong Fang Mu Yao do such a poor plot? The answer is definitely yes. However, after these days of getting along, Mu Yao felt that Shen Wuchuan was not a bad person. He shouldn't have just passed away like in the original plot, so Dong Fang Mu Yao decided to let him choose this opportunity on his own. No matter what, Shen Wuchuan is just a cannon fodder. He is different from himself. Even if he lives, it will not affect the plot. However, the closer he gets to the female lead, the greater his chance of surviving. Instead of following oneself, being treated as a stepping stone, the future is uncertain. In no time, it was Lin Qing's turn to leave for patrol. Dong Fang Muyao took the initiative to sit next to Shen Wuchuan and his eyes lit up. What's wrong with senior sister? What do you think of Miss Lin? Fortunately, what does senior sister mean by these words? Mu Yao let out a soft cough and spread out her palm to reveal the porcelain vase inside. Is this? Shen Wuchuan's radiant eyes revealed surprise. I understand what you mean. This pack of soul enchanting powder can help you, said Dong Fang Mu Yao vaguely. After taking this medicine, this person will have weak limbs and no resistance. Senior sister's meaning. He looked at the package of medicine with a thoughtful gaze and did not directly refuse. It seems that he really has an interest in Lin Qingli. It's good if you know, Dong Fang Mu Yao nodded. I know now. Shen Wuchuan suddenly took the package of medicine and nodded steadily at her. We will not disappoint senior sister's expectations. Dong Fang Muyao breathed a sigh of relief. There were only three options for this. If Lin Qing was poisoned, or if his intentions were wrong, he would only follow the old path of the original work. Either he stands up halfway and pretends to be a good person, then the eastern demon will have to stay further away from him, regardless of his life or death. The third option is that he can't bear to poison Lin Qingli, and the outcome may be even better. After a while, Lin Qing stood up and said, It's my turn to patrol. Then I'll go find my senior brother. You guys go to bed first. The opportunity has come. As expected, shortly after Lin Qingli left, Shen Wuchuan stood up and walked towards Lin Qingli's direction. Dong Fang Muyao pretended to be asleep and silently thought to herself. Shen Wuchuan, this is my first time helping you, don't let me down. The moon sank in the west, and the fire gradually extinguished. It was not until a long time had passed that Shen Wuchuan returned to the campsite, covered in dust and wind. Dong Fang Muyao lazily opened her eyes and happened to meet those black and white eyes. Shen Wuchuan's childish face burst into a smile, and the two of them tacitly did not say a word. Then, for an unknown amount of time, Lin Qingli and Rong Emo did not return. At first, everyone was not aware of the clues, until a loud explosion appeared deep in the forest, and the hurried footsteps woke up the three of them who were sleeping soundly. Dong Fang Muyao stood up, pondering whether the plot had been triggered. Lin Qingli had already been captured by the ghost, but to her surprise, it was none other than the disciples of Faixian Valley who had slowed them down this time. How could you be here? Luo Nanjo looked at them in shock. He thought of the plot of the original work and questioned Mu Yao, where is she? Dong Fang Mu Yao said lightly, I don't know what you're talking about. Luo Nanzu wanted to argue with her again, but his junior sister stood up coquettishly and said, Senior brother, the fireworks for help are coming from the east. There must be something wrong there. Let's go and see. After that, she said meaningfully, Miss Dong Fang is so close, haven't you noticed anything unusual? Sure enough, 
As soon as these words were spoken, the faces of the group of people in Faixian Valley changed again. Some even whispered to each other whether Dong Fang Muyao had intentionally not gone to rescue him. Luonan Island did not stop them, but instead looked at Dong Fang Muyao with a complex gaze. Lu Qingdu was panting to argue, but now a loud voice came from behind him. You said so confidently, did you see it with your own eyes? Shen Wuchuan held his arm and looked at them without saving face. Instead of making trouble for my senior sister here, it's better to go and save people as soon as possible. The disciples of Faixian Valley were mocked by Shen Wuchuan, their expressions not very attractive. They all followed the orders of Luonan Island. Luonan Island unexpectedly glanced at the man in red a few more times, and finally gave the order. Enter the mountain to save people. Dong Fang Muyao's mood is not very good either. She was treated differently by her ex-boyfriend. How can her mood improve? At this moment, Shen Wuchuan walked up to her and said with a calm face, I used to think that the immortal sect was so noble, but now I feel that it's no different from the mortal world. Are you sad? said Dong Fang Muyao. How could it be? They didn't want me, but it was my senior sister who picked me up, so I wouldn't be sad for others. He added, only senior sister can make me sad. Dong Fang Muyao. All right, let's go too. It was already late at night, and the three of them followed behind the disciples of Faixian Valley, passing through thick forests, and the noise inside became louder. Dong Fang Muyao was worried and said, Chuan, you didn't get caught when you started, did you? Shen Wuchuan confidently said, I started very cleanly. Dong Fang Muyao. But how do I feel? The sixth sense of Dong Fang Muyao told her that things were not so simple. When she arrived, everything around her was burned to ashes, and a girl in pink was still fighting the evil spirits around her to the death. Wait. Why is Lin Qingli here? Isn't she poisoned? So where did Rong Imo go while she was here? The disciples of Faixian Valley had already participated in the war, and Dong Fang Muyao quickly stopped and said, Chuan, where is Rong Mo? Shen Wuchuan turned around and said, I'm poisoned. You poisoned Rong Imo. Dong Fang Muyao's pupils trembled directly, did you give him the medicine? End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Being Abandoned Again You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 10 Being Abandoned Again Shen Wuchuan looked innocent and said, Isn't it because senior sister disliked him for pestering Miss Lin, so she scattered her enchantment to me and taught him a lesson? Enchanted Soul Dong Fang Muyao took a cold breath. This kid really treated that package of medicine as a lost soul that would only make his limbs weak. What else can she say? Can't you openly say that you want him to bully Lin Qingli? Dong Fang Muyao only felt her heart beating and pounding, and under her unfortunate circumstances, the plot collapsed endlessly. After pursing her lips, Muyao didn't know what to say. In the end, she could only do something and say, save someone first. Lu Qingdu loves to fight and kill the most. At this moment, he rushed to the top and killed all the ghosts surrounding Lin Qingli. Lin Qingli's martial arts were very poor, and his first reaction after being rescued was to say to them, go and save senior brother Rong. He was dragged away by ghosts and monsters in the cave behind him. Go and save him. Before Luo Nanjo could give any orders, the gentle junior sister beside him lit up her eyes and volunteered, Senior brother, the situation is urgent. You stop them here first, and I will go with the other senior brothers to save senior brother Rongmo. In the original work, his junior sister Chaoran had many suitors in Faixian Valley, but she was all hanging up and only had admiration for the male lead Rongmo. Now that she heard that her crush was in danger, she naturally did not hesitate. Luananzu didn't have time to think much and immediately agreed. Dong Fang Muyao was afraid of trouble and said to Lu Qingdu, follow them and if you encounter danger, pass on the spirit to me. After hesitating for a moment, Lu Qingdu still followed. White evil spirits shuttle through the center of the crowd, occasionally coming out to attack them. 
the number is too many, and killing them alone in Luonan Island is far from enough. The situation was urgent, and Dong Fang Muyao didn't have time to think much. Achuan helped me get into battle. Shen Wuchuan immediately infused his power into the earth, and the spiritual wave spread outward centered around the Muyao. With Shen Wuchuan's assistance, the Muyao skillfully cast spells, and those souls dared not approach easily. Lin Qin looked at the demon in the east with great hope, and couldn't help but think to himself. Truly worthy of being the future young master of the world, truly amazing. Dong Fan Muyao cleared the obstacles for her, and Lin Qingli had just taken a few steps towards this side when unexpectedly, an evil spirit suddenly jumped out and, disregarding the risk of annihilating her divine form, grabbed her neck and pulled her out. Miss Lin. Luo Nanzhou and Dong Fang Muyao shouted together, their hearts hanging in suspense. Help, help. Lin Qingli tried hard to break free, but the evil spirit was extraordinary and gradually increased its strength with a fierce smile. A bruise quickly appeared on Lin Qingli's neck, and a sword light shot through Luonan Island. The evil spirit let out a painful and mournful cry, then turned its head and looked at him with bloodshot resentment, then pulled Lin Qingli and flew into the deep forest. Luonanzu planned to catch up, but at this moment, Shen Wuchuan's voice came from behind. Senior sister, be careful. Looking back at Luonan Island, she saw the evil spirits spreading one after another towards the east, killing a group of demons. The others came one after another, giving her no breathing space. Soon, she was surrounded by ghosts. Both of them are in danger, one is his former girlfriend, and the other is the protagonist of this book. Through the ghostly crevice, the clear eyes of the eastern Mu Yao stared at Luonan Island for an instant. It was evident that she was struggling, her magic had been exhausted, and her hands were trembling, as if they could collapse at any moment. She was being dragged away by these red-eyed ghosts as nourishment. Even so, she still looked at Luonan Island, her gaze calm but still waiting for his decision. The radiance of the formation began to fade away, and the ghost was getting closer. Its crimson eyes greedily stared at the young girl, gradually approaching. In an instant, Luonan Island resolutely withdrew its gaze, turned around and quickened its pace to chase towards the direction where Lin Qingli had disappeared. He chose Lin Qingli. This is already the second time Dong Fang Muyao lowered her gaze, although she had long known that she would be the one to be abandoned, she would still feel lonely when the result came but she can't stop him from moving towards a better person. She exhausted herself and let go of her hand, causing the formation to disappear. The soil under her feet turned into a ghostly swamp, pulling her down step by step. She looked sideways at Shen Wuchuan and cut a path for him with the love slaying sword. Don't worry about me, leave here. This sword exhausted her last strength and directly broke through the entire group of ghosts. Shen Wuchuan looked at her slowly sinking body with slightly surprised eyes, and then a hint of anger flashed in his eyes. However, Shen Wuchuan did not use this road to leave, but instead broke out of the encirclement and came to his side along the trajectory. The spiritual lights exploded beside him, and just as the eastern Muyao fell into the abyss, he vaguely saw a red shadow rushing towards him. It was pitch black in the eyes. Lin Qingli looked around at the surrounding stone walls, unsure if this was a cave or somewhere. Just as she was feeling puzzled, an ugly ghost suddenly attacked her, frightening her to tears. Don't come over here. I am a disciple of Wenchur Villa, and my master is Qin Yao. If you eat me, he won't let you go. She huddled in the corner, covering her face and crying, but in the darkness, she heard a mournful cry from the ghost, and then nothing happened. It was quiet around, as if she had just woken up. She looked out through the gap in her palm and found nothing. Upon careful observation of the ground, it was discovered that there were many flying ashes, possibly belonging to those ghosts. No wonder I didn't encounter any danger. Is it someone guarding me by my side? But why doesn't he appear? Lin Qingli lit the fire talisman, and when the entire cave was clear, 
she looked around and felt her scalp tingling, almost scared to death. Surrounded by square stone walls, there is a huge stone coffin placed in the middle, with iron chains tied to the corners to lock the coffin. It is obvious that this is an ancient tomb. No wonder so many ghosts have poked the old nest. There was no way out around, and she didn't know how she got in. There was nothing she could do. She bravely approached the coffin and was surprised to find that there were many talismans pasted on it. What kind of evil is going on here? Did you violate the rules of heaven? She turned around and searched for a long time, but still couldn't find the way out. The surrounding area was built seamlessly and couldn't find any flaws. Finally, she pinned her hope on the coffin in front of her. She approached the sarcophagus cautiously, her hand already close to the talisman. I swear I'll only take one look, I'll just open it and take one look, there won't be any problem. She took a deep breath, tore open a talisman paper, and slowly pushed open the coffin lid with all her strength, I only saw a young girl lying in the coffin, and before Lin Qingli could see her clearly, her tightly closed eyes suddenly opened. Suddenly, the entire tomb room shook and the chains burst open, and the wind blew wildly. Slowly, the ancient tomb gradually regained calmness. By the time Lin Qingli realized it, the coffin was already empty, leaving only the ruins of the ground and the tomb door that had been opened out of thin air. End of this chapter